one who was buried comes up from the grave. One once was human, but a full moon makes him a slave. Siblings infernal by blood or by spell. Formaldehyde and Wolf Tummy presents Drag Us to Hell. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome once again to Drag Us to Hell, Mm -hmm. featuring myself, uh, Wolf Tummy. And Melda, from yes. Melda Hyde from Dragula. Yes, yes, yes. And our cohort, 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 cohort. It's only episode three here. Our cohort, <laughs> our co-conspirator, uh, uh, owner hey. of the infamous haunted, oh, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> building, haunted. <laughs> the only year-round horror shop in Arizona. Terror Trader. We have Jason. Hello, on hand. what's up? I and mean, actually, Jason. it's funny you said this. Uh, this is uh, about three or four days ago. Mm-hmm. I had I get this all the time. I get a DM. Is your place haunted? And you're like, I don't fucking know. You know, right. I mean, I go, we, we got a lot of weird shit here, and a lot of a lot yes. of a lot of dead things that died tragically. You know, so <laughs> yeah. so maybe it may have some like my dreams and hopes. And this guy, this guy goes, can I check it out? And I'm like, sure, man. So he comes in after work, right? And um, he's like, my name is Connor, or whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, he, I go, yeah, that's great, man. He goes, just to let you know right off the bat. He goes, I am the uh, I'm the scout for Zach Baggins' Ghost oh. Adventures, and I'm like, oh my, oh, God. oh, you should have let off with that on the fucking, you know, right. yeah. Like, oh. I'm like, weird uh, detail to leave out. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like, and Zach's looking at some places in uh, Phoenix. He wants to come down in a couple uh-huh. months, and we're just scouting your place. I'm like. Okay, hook it up. What do I, what do I gotta do? I gotta slide you a fucking you know hundred bucks here. What mm-hmm. I gotta do? <laughs> so, I'll bend over backwards. Yeah, I'll bend over forward. <laughs> right? mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> stand on my head, need a bug. Uh, let's look. Let's, we we could be uh, ghost adventures or whatever the hell oh, it is. Or, it's, what is it? I think it's yeah. It's ghost the ghost adventures. Ghost adventures. Ghost adventures. Yeah. yeah, adventures. Yeah, it's been on for like oh forever. thirty seasons. Right? Oh, I mean, as long as since I've been like. I don't know, eight or nine years mm-hmm. old. I've been watching that show religiously. Yeah. So I mean, it's, there's it's, a lot of seasons. I know yeah. it's crazy. different host. I know, like Zach, he left for a little bit, and he it did. Was like, yeah, he mm-hmm. did. And then it was like his team doing it, but then I think they went on like a little bit of a break, a hiatus. And then I know during the pandemic they came back, and yeah. he's yeah. like better than ever. He's he got rid camp- of those pants, right? No, he still got them. <laughs> he still got those. <laughs> he still got them, and he still got the the cheesy like Ross uh, like skulls and chain t shirt. <laughs> still doing that? Oh yeah, he's still going full like full Zach Beggins. It's it's hilarious, but it's good to see it because it brings back the nostalgia. Yeah, mm. I love it. Hey, bring bring it, bring your ass here. Yeah, yeah that right? would be amazing. Oh, that would be a nice little it. shot in the arm here. Yeah. Oh my god, that'd for be Terror Trader, put us on the map a little bit. So. That'd mm-hmm. be amazing. Yeah. Uh, that's some that's some serious haunt cred. Yeah, <laughs> right. We all spent twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah so anyways uh we are going to just kick things right off um we'll do a brief recap of the last episode yeah. of dragula yep. episode three episode three it's getting pretty that exciting. shit was wild it, i will admit this was probably my favorite episode mm-hmm. in a long time from dragula it was jam-packed with drama i think the floor show i think we've got some of the best looks that we've had mm-hmm. on the stage ever yeah um and then we've had some questionable looks but you know i think it was pretty fun especially with sci-fi the, so the theme is is sci-fi yeah, it, yeah. Um, sci-fi horror i mean sci-fi what was it? horror it, i don't know i could Sci- it was like remember. something like double feature sci-fi double feature which i don't really know what that meant by the double feature because yeah I didn't there was really one get, feature there was one feature huh. just two winners um which is questionable i'll just say right now <laughs> but um I'm not a big fan of sci-fi horror, in my opinion, when it comes to my horror movies. Don't really like it. How never really you? been really. I I don't know I'm what it. I don't know what it is. I have never been big into sci-fi. I've never been big into aliens. I mean, I believe that they're here and stuff, but I don't know. I think when we go up into space and stuff, it's a little cheesy sometimes. Mm. And I feel like a lot of times horror films that do go up into like space or do something around space. It gets questionable. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess I'm more into like the physics being like more logical and mm-hmm. realistic. And something something about sci-fi just doesn't click in my head as being like realistic. And so I, maybe it's just I can't place myself in that those situations. So you I didn't think. you didn't you didn't believe that Jason went to space? Uh, okay, I will say because <laughs> we're Amityville cause we're gonna, was in space. Yeah, yes. as I say, oh, I saw that Amityville went to space, and that movie was so awful. <laughs> um, but you know. Y- Actually, Jason goes to space. Like Jason X, probably my one of my favorite <laughs> sci-fi movies. It's that fun. is such it a is fun. fun movie. So it's, it's hard to do, but if you do it good, you do it fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, yeah. the, the, for me, my favorite is Event Horizon. My favorite. It's uh, a good movie. Okay, Horror yeah. Space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That's it's like Haunted House in Space. Yeah. I, I, you know what? Was it? Is it the Cube? Oh, Cube. I like it, Cube. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. But that's only that's... because it gave me major like Hellraiser vibes. Mm-hmm. Like I, I was like, ooh, this this reminds me of like them like what was happening inside the box. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, ooh, that'd be kind of cool. I wish they would have done something. Wait, Event Horizon Two was kind of Hellraiser ish, right? Too, it's, at the it's, end. Well, they go to hell. Like they they basically break like the wall between dimensions or right. whatever yeah. right. because they, they they create some kind of light time trap not time which is like a light speed I don't know something stupid yeah yeah, yeah. but um, <laughs> it ends up disappearing and they come back a few years and the ship was in hell okay or like whatever yeah. we would consider I remember you know, like, like the a parallel dimension that's hellish yeah I remember one of the guys kind of looks a little oh yeah they're like all like kind of yeah, because well, they're all like railing each other and shit. Like, yeah, like, like ripping their flesh apart and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. each other. I Pretty actually hot. like uh, Leprechaun in space because it's uh, yeah. they oh had, like, my god, that's they had like space one. marines, but and then like he was spawned off like their gonorrhea piss or something. Yeah. It was like yeah, he comes out of some guy's dick. It was he? weird, man. Yeah, it's it was really like, weird. I'm like, well, that's that's some that's that accurate. Wild, <laughs> <laughs> but for Leprechaun, it's it's amazing. Yeah. Camp, right, very campy. <laughs> we'll just slap camp on it. It's a thing. Yeah. So the um so let's just briefly talk really quickly about the looks uh who, yeah. and then the winners and then the people that we didn't yeah. think yeah, so did it. you i agreed with uh obviously um the one of the winners one of the winners i agree with yeah um i'm not okay so i'm gonna uh, oh it was Vic- uh, victoria. victoria victoria uh very cool the thing reference yeah. amazing looking i mean built a torso did you see it i, I missed it. so no. like oh, basically she built amazing. a torso uh-huh. but like unproportioned so like her head's hanging she, oh. Her real head looked like her, her head. Her real like head it wasn't looked head. like it was like a prosthetic because the, the way she comes was, out, yeah, out, out, it's off and there's like limbs coming off of it. Really, yeah, really legit. I it's, mean, it's insane. It's not actually, a question: that way, how did she build this by herself? Yes, well, but uh, she works in the business. She works in the business. Uh, she she fun. works for. Um, I know she used to do stuff for Disney, mm. Disney animatronics, and now she works for Universal mm-hmm. uh, Orlando, mm-hmm. I believe, yeah. I, if I'm remembering correctly. But she used to do all like the Halloween Horror Nights and stuff, and special effects. She's really big into special effects. She's amazing at it yep. but she yeah she does all her stuff where she made a full chest prosthetic where it was like it looked like a mouth and like really sharp teeth she's yeah, she, got limbs uh teeth uh did a teeth mold she had like a teeth it was, mold in her, it was insane now it, i got a question so yep. i always got a thousand questions no right? so, go for it all right so um like say this is weekly, right? The, yeah. the shows now they don't actually wait a freaking week, right? No. So they're, they're no, shooting no, these no. after probably a day or so, right? What I do mean, you have? Like, a, is it two episodes a week that you guys do? Uh, give or take, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they're they're filmed pretty pretty fast. I think without like going against my NDA or whatever, I, I think oh, it's yeah, a, no, no, no. yeah, it's it's just a few <laughs> days of filming per episode. Okay. So yeah. it's pretty quick. So she had this thing built prior to even att- yeah, attending you, the season. Yeah, yeah we okay. uh we all kind of get like a. A look list and we kind of mm. prepare beforehand but a lot of the time we still make a lot of things on set as gotcha. well so i don't know how much of this was already pre-made or something she brought from home that thing really is know. all but like it's, it's, it's all a uh, silicone too it looks all silicone heavy really? heavy, so like how could heavy, heavy heavy transport that that's yeah it was legit well and that's my thing too i always wonder how um because for me when i went on i drove to california mm-hmm. from here with my car like jam packed to, I mean, to yeah. the roof with all my stuff that I was bringing. I don't know how people like Victoria, who lives in Florida, yeah. ships all that stuff. Yeah. I don't know if she ships it ahead of time. How does she get it on the plane? A lot of things, like, because I know she's got to have to take some stuff. I don't really know. I don't trust the airports and, and yeah. the mailing system when it comes to shipping <laughs> my prized possessions and things mm-hmm. that I put a lot of time into. Um, so I don't know how people like that, or even like Coco, mm-hmm. who used to live like in Tulsa. That's pretty far from California. So yeah. I don't know how like they get all this stuff to California and then how do they transport it back and like know everything. So yeah. that's insane that she brought it. And I'm like, how many suitcases did you bring? Yeah. Because that that was a huge that would have easily taken up one big suitcase. Maybe not even that. That was yeah. a whole shipping. No, box. yeah, it's 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 she must have I mean, drove like a whole U-Haul. Just the torso would fit in like triple the size of these boxes, these good guy boxes. Oh, yeah. wow. Just for that piece. Yeah. Wow. It was sick. It I was mean, really a right cool. uh rightfully deserved win. I think she should have been co- acknowledged. win though. Yeah, I, I think she should have been acknowledged first. Yeah. I when yeah. when they said Hoso won. Yeah, yeah. That was, it that came was I didn't think that was a win. big surprise when they said Hoso, you have won cuz yeah. in my opinion, I didn't really I got more Mortal Kombat, but I guess Mortal Kombat is somewhat sci-fi i guess I, I was well they were talking about deep space yeah so for me space, like so cyborg. this hoso dressed up basically with a okay here's the thing 
If you're gonna, I, I I told you about this. If you're they Koso came out with a katana blade. Okay. Uh-huh. If you're gonna have a fucking katana blade in your hand, you better know how to hold that shit. Oh. So it's like kind of like holding it, like la la la, like kind of swinging it around. <laughs> if you don't know how to hold it, then don't bring it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. like that really irritated the shit out of me. Because I was like, maybe oh. he'll cut See, himself, which would have really, been amazing. I didn't really notice. Oh I, yeah, it was like just kind of like not holding it correctly. Sure. Like you uh-huh. hold the hilt in a certain way. Yeah. yeah, yeah then yeah, also yeah. he had like um she had yeah, like an like, oni mask. She, that, yeah. she had an oni mask that was cut in half. And then propped like this, uh-huh, okay. and then a third, and a second only mask that wasn't cut, but like down here, sure, and had some little metal arms on it, which looked cool. But it just she didn't come across to me as like deep space sci-fi. It came, which is what I thought the goal was, I th- because yeah. Astrid was like kind of uh, Cthulhu was, yeah, and like, like old god Gallagher or what was that Gallagher? Like, oh, Gallagher. rest in peace, Gallagher. He yeah. just died. Oh, yeah. did he? Oh, he died he a couple did. days ago. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, that's sad. No more smashing watermelons. No. no. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, anyway, he's dead. Um, but uh, yeah. So, so like everybody else, I thought was more pretty, along pretty like sci-fi. Well, yeah. Yeah. And then this one, I thought was cool, but to me, it was like Tetsuo the Iron Man meets. Yeah. You know what it reminded me of? It kind of reminded me just because I just recently watched this. It reminded me more of something you would see in Sucker Punch. Mm, yeah. Totally. Like, yeah. Very like, Sucker Punch. Yeah. Like it, this. This came off more like post-apocalyptic, yeah. in my opinion. Not really like it because they were like. A schoolgirl, but then yeah, it was weird, like a, a lot of different know. references. And, and for me, like I thought, Hoso would have like. I'm not saying that the look was bad at all. This was a really cool. If look. If this was like cyberpunk, yes, that cyberpunk, would have just killed it. That would have been the that's best. That's a great way to say it. it yeah, if, if they were like the, the the theme is cyberpunk, it would have absolutely yeah, blew everybody away. That's a great. That yeah, cyberpunk, but still been great. learn how to hold a sword. Yeah, I mean, which I'm like, you know, I'm not mad that they won too but i'm just disappointed that they didn't acknowledge victoria first because victoria was pure sci-fi i mean like i don't know how much more of sci-fi you can get with it Mm -hmm. um i would have been fine if victoria won themselves like that that would have been fine with me um you know congratulations to both of them i don't think there was necessarily a bad look this episode you don't think that (laughs) okay let's just get into it let's get into it uh we had Kendra and Abora in mm-hmm. the bottom this week. Yep. Um, I okay. So Kendra's look, I get why she had to go. It was very pedestrian. This was very like we're going to WeHo at a gig. Uh, even then, so it's kind. a little bit questionable. I like, I love Kendra, and you know, it's sad to see them go, but I understand why. The this look was not it. It was a, it was nice. I guess, I guess, I have a little bit more of appreciation just because. You've been through it. I've been through it, yeah, and, and like with the look and stuff. And like for me, I don't know what I would have done this episode. So like I think Kendra was kind of in the same boat. She was just like, let me just put my drag in a green face, this weird wig, and something that looks like I don't know, like Martian esque, like like glamour. I don't know. It was okay, really weird. That's that's very kind. It You're is, a very I'm kind being person. Kind. I am being okay. Kind. This is the real. This is how I feel. I'm never gonna meet this person. Go off. This okay, you know when you go to okay, you know when you first um get out of school, get out of high school or college, right? And then you go and you're like, okay, I have like my, my little um one bedroom, or you have like right. a studio, studio apartment. apartment yeah. and you're like, shit, I got to get something for this bathroom, right? So you know when you go to like Target or Walmart, oh, and they have that thing that's like the bathroom cover, the shower yeah. mat, and then like the um the toilet seat cover, <laughs> yeah. and it's like three things on one hook hanger. Yeah, yeah. that's what it looked like. Oh she was boy, oh, no. <laughs> It's I, that's what it looked like. That's that's what I thought when I saw it. that that material, but yeah. just like made into clothes. Wow! Don't you? Here's yeah. the deal. How can I put this? Don't you? Don't show up to a program that a lot of people would kill to be on. Yeah. And bring that. I'm not saying yeah. that this person isn't talented. She, I've not not an entertainer. Amazingly, right. um, no. This talented. is just this is critiquing. Critiquing. We, I mean, like, a specific. We said this look. at the beginning. We have to be harsher because this is a Titan series, and yep. like you said, there is. I think how many now? There's, I think, fifty of us. Mm-hmm. I think, or no, thir- thirty, thirty or fifty of us yeah. now. I mean, there's a, at this th- point. There's a lot of us there's in the world. <laughs> in the world. Well, in the world. Yeah. But let's say just in a Titan series. Yeah. There's between fifty to thirty of us. I'm not. I, yeah, I don't yeah. remember exact number of us there is from each season, and only eleven or no. Nine of them, mm-hmm. I think. I believe that's how many is on the scene. Whatever. Um, only a certain amount got the opportunity to come to back do, for yeah. the first ever Titan yeah. season. I understand you have to be on point, and these looks have not been it. I think the only look they did great in was the first episode. Yeah. Um, like I said, 
I oh yeah, I love that first episode look. But this, yeah. this was no. Well, when did I saw you that, realize like, too that they were wearing the same coat that <laughs> they did in their entrance? Yeah. That's a no no. You do not wear. A, the, I I don't care in normal day life in normal drag. I don't care wear an outfit how many times you want. Yeah. But on a competition, you do not wear an a, an item more than once. Yep. An item a clothing item more than once. It's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. I learned that the hard way too. I was trying to wear the same stuff. I got red for it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. People notice. It's a big deal. Yeah. Um, I understand that we have to bring stuff that we can alter and, and kind of like use in other places. But if, if it's something like a blue fur coat, you do not use twice because if you use mm-hmm. it once, it's a first impression. Use it again, it's just annoying yeah. to see. And, and now it's in perpetuity. You're in the world forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that look. For all time. I mean, I'm going to give it to her. She looked gorgeous, and she left looking gorgeous as ever. I mean, Kendra is is very talented and stuff. Very sad to see them go. Um, so, I'm, so like, but, my, th- my thing is, yeah. I'm saying all of this stuff about the outfit, but I mm-hmm. still wouldn't have sent her home. <laughs> no, I, I would have sent Abora you ha- home. I would have sent Abora home. I would have sent Abora home. Yes. I would have, yeah, I would have sent her home. Yeah, so this Abora of like has a meltdown, mm. has and a freak out meltdown, and it's like, and by the way, Astrid was like to me. I we talked about this was the, like I'm telling it like it is, mm-hmm. and was like, okay, you know what, this is enough. Like everybody's in here. You know what, you have those friends. How I mean, we don't we, we kind of keep our distance from people but <laughs> you know when there's like those people that are like when they come in the room it's like oh we actually do we know people like that uh-huh. that um suck the energy out oh yeah and uh, it's like vampire. a black they're, 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 they're like vampires. a black hole yes yes it's kind of like along a, with the sci-fi thing. yeah, yeah it's, she's it's a black of, hole she's a black hole I, so and she doesn't mean it right she's not intending to make everybody um but the thing is when your behavior is um uh, I don't want to say coddle, but when it's like reinforced, yeah, and then you have people who kind of enable that, yes. it just you you kind of start you go into that behavior, and so yeah, it's very typically. And, ha- and yeah. the thing is, too, in a competition setting, it is very easy to get into that headspace mm. where your only goal is the finish line, and then something like this so early in the season, that's not the way to go because mm-hmm. you want to get people on your good side, especially with. We already saw in in the first episode. And I don't understand Abora's attitude at this point because. She already got sent home <laughs> by her own competitors, yeah. by her own, by her fellow co-workers at this point, mm-hmm. sent her ass home because of her attitude. You'd think she'd have a little bit of a nicer attitude when it came to the people she's working with because at any point, we don't know, but the Belays can always just been like, you guys are deciding. <laughs> yeah, you guys are deciding again who goes home. Yeah. And her ass could be back in that bottom and drop down into that ball pit. Yeah. So I think she should be really nice to people from this point on. And her threatening saying... You guys better hope that I drop down. Tonight. And she didn't. And wow. she didn't. And she's also like called him a bunch of. I don't know if I she called him a bunch of. She said, "See you next Tuesday." Yeah. Oh yeah. She called him a bunch that, of that. Wow, which, that's and like they were a pissed. Big, that's a good which one. I use that word a lot, but yeah. it's only with people I really don't like. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't. Think, or if I'm in Australia, yeah. Australia, right? They say. That yeah, they, they say. Oh yeah, they say. Yeah. They teach you that in school. Yeah. But you know. I, at this point, I'm with Melissa and saying she better be scared that she didn't fall down because yeah. she has to go back into that workroom this week, this coming up episode, and who knows what's going to be waiting for her. Isolation. Let me, let me yeah. put this in there. Uh, as they say, a producer guy, be like, look, mm-hmm. all right, keep her around because she's drama. Uh, well, yeah, I think you know that's why. That's, uh, I think I really the think people that's were going to talk Dude. about her on podcast for like, right yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the thing is, like, so she she basically it was you could clearly see that they only even like the what thirty to sixty seconds of her like yelling at them uh, they cut it they, they cut, cut it that down quick. oh shit. but you see that they were pissed really? and I don't blame them yeah but like yeah. I we I said before here's the deal it's a competition. Mm-hmm. And you don't owe anybody anything, nor does anyone owe you anything. Right. Because yeah. right, right, we're right, all competing. Right. That doesn't yep. mean that you have to be a bad person. For me, I have a good um, pep talk if anyone needs it, but everybody only gets one. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. there for you if you're going through it. Yeah. I'm going to give you one. Yeah. And after that, I'm like, fuck it. Go, yeah. You're on your own. Because the reality is, I got to focus my energy. Yeah. On myself, um, on myself, yeah. on on yeah. what I'm gonna produce. Yeah, I can't be like. Um, I feel like um, Eva is doing great, but Eva is still distracted by trying to help her friend. Yeah, right? and, and that's that's, that's, that's fine the in the real world. Thing. Yeah, and that's well, it, yeah, in the real world, it's it's great to have those people and and to love them and stuff. But at this point, I think it's going I, the way it's going. I think it's going to halters. Eva's, yeah, 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 completely, and stuff because this is gonna make because I'm 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 low key nervous for Eva this this yeah. next episode because 
It's her friend. She said a bunch of things. I mean, Abora said a lot of things on, and that I don't think she necessarily meant. But that now means that Eva now not only has to co- like, like comfort Abora, but yeah. also not enable her and look like she's enabling her because then the group is going to turn on both of them. Yeah. And I don't think that's what Eva wants. So I'm a little scared. I mean, Hoso people already don't like. People already know that like Hoso's like riding abora's yeah. dick right now so mm-hmm. i mean they already know like we don't trust hoso yeah. but i don't think it's a good idea for oh, she Eva. even said yeah like, yeah I'll well yeah she vote said for i'll vote whoever for whoever as going, long as even if they're better not. yeah so it's like they even needs to be very 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 strategic on how she plays this because yeah. that could really put her at a disadvantage and i mean depending on how much effort she's putting into it it's gonna really mess her up in her yeah. placement and i don't think that's a good idea for her because Eva's a strong competitor. Yeah, you right don't now. want your work to suffer. You don't want like yeah. off of some bullshit. You know, if like if I'm bad, if I have a bad day and I'm not good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. I deserve to go home. It's fine. Yeah. But if it's because I'm like, oh, because I'm else, I'm distracted by my friend. Yeah. You know, and so I didn't give everything I had. Then fuck that. Yeah. I'm trying to get this money. No. Period. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I, I feel like everybody is like, I don't, I don't, I. Am I broken? Because I feel like everyone. No, this is because I feel like a lot of pe- yeah, a lot of people seem to be like in those settings. Yeah, maybe because I play sports. Yeah, I, I, look, coming from I'm a competitive guy myself, yeah, right? Dude. And look, <laughs> I'm I'm right with you, yeah. Wolf. Tell me, you know, I don't feel things. Yeah, it's like look, I'm. You know what? After the show, we'll be all. all you can cry on my right. shoulder. Yeah, but right can, now, yeah, fuck off. Yeah, huh? at the end of the day, we're all sisters and stuff like yeah. that, and and stuff like that. But this is a competition. You're going for a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, hundred thousand. Yeah, hundred thousand yeah, dollars, yeah. and you're gonna headline. In, on, the, on, on the tour, on the tour, on the tour. and oh, and wow. and even yeah. then, and at that point too, we don't know what what like at that point when you have the winning title, you mm-hmm. literally have everything for you at yeah. that point. All the doors are open and stuff. People really need to take this seriously. I mean, this is not just a joking game. I mean, and plus the amount of money you spend to go on this competition, you should be yeah. fighting like it's the last day of your life for that cash because mm-hmm. you also need to make profit off of this because yep. we're we're all you're you're stopping your life for a, i mean more than months yeah i mean it's it's almost half a year worth of work that you're stopping your life for this this thing mm-hmm. so i mean people should be a little bit more like serious when it comes to how they're fighting and how they're playing this because this really could make or break them yeah. and especially for these titans too who's your front runner i mean uh, who's your front runner but then who do you I guess I don't. It's a beta question because uh, I have a yeah, front runner, but then I have who I want to win. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. Same. Um. Right <laughs> now, front runners like logistically as it's going, I see Victoria winning. Uh-huh. Like, I mean, I think they're going to be a, a really good contender winning. And then, who I want to win and who I want to see in top three or whoever mm. is Melissa. Yeah. I think Melissa and I. I think it was really kind of shitty that she kind of got overlooked this episode because mm-hmm. yeah, that was sick. that predator look Full was predator. so cool. Oh, Built man. the head like the predator. Damn. It was had the, the mask, mask that came off, and then the, it lit the up. predator what? face. And really? it was really cool because it was the whole bodysuit, but it wasn't the armored predator. It yeah. was like the, the flesh. scaly flesh, and and yeah, it was all sick. bedazzled with with Swarovski like, crystals. Yeah, it was so legit, when, dude. when it oh, and when the, it looked. Um, and the, the blade, um, the blade that goes poosh, like with the two, yep. really? just like spinning. And it. Yeah, spinning that was sick. It, she had the claw, and they're like, "You're safe, <laughs> and you're safe. safe. That's you're it. safe." <laughs> and and not only that, the mask lit up. Yeah, it was sick. It had LED lights on. I've never seen a predator mask have LED lights like that. Yeah, have you guys? Because I have. I have not. I have not seen a, a predator mask with LED lights on it. It was that so was cool. Sick. And and then when she removed it. It was slimy. She yeah. had the, oh, yeah, the yeah. little tentacles. She pulled, like the the the, the, the you but, know predator has a face plate. Yeah, yeah. Pulled it off and it was like slime. slime. It was sick. Oh, it was really cool. cool. The eye makeup was very glamorous with the same rhinestones. How do you stuff. feel on that show? So you put all that work. You know your fucking your outfit yeah. is just the shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you just get oh, you're safe. Yeah. Well, well that's got that's, that's got to be a little. And bit. they mentioned they mentioned that because someone was saying that they were complaining that they were only safe, and then another competitor was like, I don't understand why people are. Compl- oh, Victoria. She was well, like, I don't understand why people are complaining about being safe i can tell you the answer to that the complaint is because the reality is i mean i would okay so i heard from another people on another show (laughs) but the complaint when you're safe and you did very well yeah the difference is i guess between that other show and this is that when people on the other show are safe they're generally safe right yeah they're not great but they're safe yeah on this show when people are safe, but they did amazing, yeah, it hurts. What, it hurts because what that and for me, what I'm like, well, the reason I'm not happy about it is because 
it clearly means to me that you're already building this narrative yeah. that I'm not going to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That sucks. Yeah, especially if you're like, this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. And all yeah, of a sudden, yeah. it's like, yeah, you're good. Just go back to the green right. room. You're like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, the only the only time I think it gets annoying is when people are like, oh, I want to hear critiques. And it's like, I don't care if I hear critiques. I just want to hear how good, like, my yeah. outfit looks and, like, like to yeah. show that I put a lot of work in it. At least acknowledge. I don't care about critiquing. Don't critique me or whatever. At least acknowledge. Because I think the only person they did that to was Erica when hmm. they said, oh, Erica, you did great. And you should be proud. That That's the only person who got that, who was safe. And I think yeah. that was a little bit of a slap to the face to Melissa because I yeah. I liked Melissa's far more. And she yeah. deserved that little shout out of the season or the, the episode than Erica, in my yeah. opinion. But So I think that my front runner from the way that it seems like it's it's lining up is going to be Hoso. Okay. Now, that's not my pick. No. That's just who I think is going to win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I have a soft spot for Astrid. That's a that's really? a hometown girl. Oh. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And um so I'm like I'm I would like to see a little worried for Astrid though. Yeah. In my opinion. I don't necessarily think they are reality TV show ready. I feel like they they break pretty easily so yeah that's so last season astrid had a notoriously famous breakdown yeah very similar that to a Bora's. lasted very similar to a yeah. i but think they're both very similar when personalities it comes to personality when it comes to... wise yeah but i do like to see that um astrid seems to be way more um level-headed mm-hmm. and i don't know i still has... think she's a bratty i oh well, I, I, <laughs> I I, I, she... I, that's probably me her, that's probably she, how, her, how i am i will say how coco says she has a brat what did she say she was like um in this episode she was like oh i'm not a brat she's like but you have a you have bratty attitude or i it was really funny but she's like you act like a brat you act you're not necessarily a brat but you you act like a brat and it's it's just funny because i'm like i see the same thing i love astrid and stuff but she could be very bratty sometimes i I, I like a brat i don't know i hate it (laughs) and i I, and i like to see i want to see someone like a hometown it would be cool and you know although like the look was cool i mean i'm gonna be realistic it wasn't as great as the the greater top looks. It was fun. I was really cool, but, but it also it, it wasn't something. It seemed unfinished. Yeah, there was something missing with it, and I think I agree with the Boulets when they said because I know Astrid personally, and I've seen them perform a lot. Mm-hmm. They're very wild. They're moving all over the time. That shit's something, hilarious, though, dude. It, it's hilarious, and it, the it goes are with messy it goes show. with like. <laughs> It goes along with like the punk rock vibe that Astrid gives, but something like that creature does there something very slow, very meticulous yeah. movement and like kind of like slithering. I don't know for some reason I just saw like very, I need to like, be more imposing because it's supposed to yeah, be like an old god. Yeah, and yeah. I and I don't know like I just I I thought when she's, she's doing like, like moving, the, like, when she's like, like the um, jerking around and stuff. Ian I'm Curtis like, from Joy Division kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this sh- okay, well, we're gonna close out close this to start talking about something else. But the yeah, funny, yeah, yeah. I so the the thing that cracks me up, dude, is when they show things that are like. Nothing to do. And when it's sh- the jump cuts to. Oh my god, dude! Thing. When they show when it was like when Obora freaks out, and then they cut to when she was trying to dance and she's trying to take that thing off, and she trips over the yeah, like <laughs> she trips over like a cable like this. And yeah, it's just like, clung, 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 clung. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So yeah. mean. Don't show that, dude. It's oh, so mean. Man. No, they're brutal. But it is Production funny. Is That's really good editing brutal. right there. Man. It is. <laughs> they're very brutal, and it's it- like it cuts the music. The music isn't even playing. You just hear you see them like oh fuck, click, click, yeah. click, like, yeah, yeah, almost yeah, yeah. fall. Yeah. Oh man, that. Production's fucking assholes. Yeah, that, it's I funny though. I it's, up. it's funny, but like, oh, that is such a dick move. <laughs> so, <laughs> so somebody, um, okay. Well, first, of all, so that's it. And basically, yeah. what happened was, uh, Kendra goes Kendra home. goes home. Yeah, she may she may come back. We don't know. With we this don't know. New, with this, I would no, love to see her new, come back though. New situation. Yeah. Um, and Abora lost her shit, and now she has to come back and face everybody that she yeah. talked shit to and call them backwards. Oh. Yeah, it'll be funny. Nervous. This episode it, will be good. It's yeah. This next episode's gonna be pretty may good. come to blows. I think her and Melissa are really gonna go head to head because Melissa was fucking pissed by yeah. the, the threatening, and I agree with her. So yeah, I'm very excited yeah. to see what happens. So throw acid in her face. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Cut up her wigs. At this point, yeah. <laughs> so um yeah so that's that's our brief not so brief recap on <laughs> episode so brief, three uh, <laughs> that was a good 25 minutes okay so um uh okay so a few things i want to talk about first off um it's only fans so um oh, oh boy only fans yeah yeah so uh what i do no right <laughs> <laughs> what did i do no so like uh, so this new thing and only fans that's like um uh they're like porn horror parodies. Yes. What the fuck? Yes. Okay, it's I, I know that it's in the straight world too. Yeah. I but have uh, kind of went on this little have you, 
I've 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 I'm sort I fell in the hole. To do, I fell in the yeah, hole. Yeah, I'm starting to. Um, I have a buddy who did these, by the way. The production value yeah, was surprisingly they're good. They're great. We had a. a I used to do. The, sorry, to jump in on this. No, but no, no please it. do. The reason you said this, I just I totally forgot about this. I used to do uh, album artwork for Five Finger Death Punch, right? Uh-huh. A band, heavy metal band, right? Oh, yeah, I know oh, that. Wow. Yeah, and uh, the drummer, he was like, the name is Jerry Spencer, and he was like. He always he looked like he should be like Motley Crue, right? Yeah. Back in the eighties, and he wishes he was, but mm-hmm. it, the band mm-hmm. wasn't that. You know, they were just they were different. Anyway, he basically quit uh, like a, probably around the COVID time frame, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. done. I'm, I'm gonna pursue pursue my uh, my, my my dream film, my film yeah. career. <laughs> and then finally, and I'm friends with him. Finally, he goes, yeah. "Hey man, you want to check out my shit? What I've been doing?" I'm like, "I think he's doing his short horror films, right?" Yeah. And then he sends me a, oh. a Pornhub link, yeah. and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm, like, I'm already in." Oh, <laughs> I'm Jesus. like, "Jeremy, wait." He goes, "No, no, no." He goes, "I I produced this one." And I'm like, "And it." It was a horror parody, like a yeah. Friday the Thirteenth, but oh, it's all man. like straight. You know, it's all porn, and, yeah, it, and yeah. they did like three. Or, and they're they're so bad. I mean, they were like, I mean, seven eight minutes long, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. and they're just, I'm just sitting there going, depends man, how long the Viagra lasts. You were, I know you were making a <laughs> lot of money at one point. I go, I don't know how this is translating. This <laughs> is Dude, a it's niche a, corner that it? gets a lot. Okay, of okay. Right. So I watched a movie. Okay, first off, I don't even know it was like Chirac or something. I don't even know the fucking like some gay porn guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but the fucking <laughs> oh wait, Shrock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I but know I think the movie was called. <laughs> he it was, was like, actually a Dracula. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he was yeah, in yeah. Um, Resurrection. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, very short second, but Drac kills him or Swan. Um, <laughs> that's right. So it was. Um, I think it was called like Neon Semen or, uh, <laughs> or something like the that. The names are so good. <laughs> but I'm like, names, wait, wow. what? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, and I'm like, this is some bullshit. Subscribed. <laughs> so but, um, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'll pay the three months. I think I know what you're talking. Is about. This, this, this is OnlyFans now. It's right? an, yeah. but it's like somebody's OnlyFans. Yeah, but they like. <laughs> it's so fucking so it's because it's so and i watched it i'm like okay what kind of camera work like they're using like really good cameras like, now no, this ain't they, phone sex no 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 no, no. <laughs> i'm i'm telling you right now only fans content they go full production because wow. I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that i've been in one but i I, <laughs> yeah. I, I i know how it works well my friend there's yeah, yeah. there's multiple cameras there's gopros involved mm-hmm. there's like oh. full like ring different, lights yeah different angles different angles cgi wow. yeah cgi it's, 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 holy yeah. shit oh you might as well just be doing a full porno at that point and i mean <laughs> it's better than, but a, the production value is better than it is studio better than porn. And wow studio porn yeah it's yeah insane. it was like schindler's credit. fist i think that was schindler's one. fist yeah. <laughs> the, was, i, I the, think that was appropriate the, but the cream for me which yeah. is the scream parody <laughs> oh I, nice it's really but funny. it's just like crazy that yeah that, that that's the thing now <laughs> that i'm kind of that's one of my oh no this I'm, week. I'm very much into this i've already i already <laughs> did like um ghost face ghost face like I'm not gonna say they were nudes because they weren't nudes, but they were like what do you what do they call them lewds like light nudes where mm-hmm. it's like lingerie and stuff like that. I've done that. That was that made me a good penny on OnlyFans. <laughs> that made me a really good penny, and it was just me putting a ghost face mask and wearing some lingerie. So I was like, I'm down. I'm down. When people were doing this, I was like, I love yeah. this. I love this. Let me get Leatherface. Let me get Jason. Let me get some Michael Myers. I'm gonna do all this. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my bank off of this <laughs> for real. In this economy, you gotta do what you. Hey, can. you gotta you gotta make right. a living, baby. You gotta right. make a living. Okay, right. so <laughs> what we'll do is um we'll go ahead and jump into what our our primary subject is, which is going to be monstrous mamas. Oh. Monster so we each mamas. picked yes. picked our three favorite horror mothers. Oh, um, either benevolent or malevolent. Uh huh. Um, and I will start first. Yes, please number, do. Number three. Uh, my number three is going to be uh, Joan Crawford from Mommy Dearest. Okay, really funny that you said that <laughs> she almost made it onto my list, and I didn't know if it was horror movie enough, but she's pretty terrifying. That, in that shit. Movie. Have you seen that movie? Uh, I mean, yeah, of oh course God. I've seen that movie. Yeah. That, it's just so over the top. <sighs> no more wire hangers, right? No, no more, more wire hangers. Ever. And she looks dead in that scene. I mean, she looks. They. <laughs> she looks like, look a, like so a horror, scary. like a monster in that scene. Yeah. yeah, she looks terrifying in that scene. She's got like the face tape. Her yeah. face is pale white. She's got like the she's holding the the, the hanger. And I'm like she's gonna kill Did those you fucking scrub kids. the floor today. Yeah, she's yeah, man. Kill those fucking kids. And you know what? Rightfully so, because those kids were brats. Oh yeah, they were little fucking brats. They were spoiled little Hollywood kids. Yeah, they were. Um, <laughs> I don't blame her. She was not the she was not the villain in that movie. Mm-hmm. She was the hero. No, she was. Yeah, <laughs> so that's my number three. Yeah, who's yours? Um, I'm gonna go with um one of the probably the scarier moms that I've seen in a horror movie that made me genuinely like very scared mm-hmm. uh, was mommy from people under the stairs. Oh, that bitch yeah. is insane Ooh. in that movie. She's not only the actress who plays her is very terrifying, mm-hmm. but like very beautiful at the same time. I don't know why, but I was like weirdly like very like, like visually attracted to her. I'm mm-hmm. like, you're, you're gorgeous. Cause she's wearing like these, like, like, 
I don't know, like seventies gowns and stuff that yeah. are very tailored. But then her face is that her hair is I don't know. She's got like these bruises on her lips and stuff. She and she's fucking insane. She's got those crazy eyes. She's yelling. She's hitting the people under the stairs. <laughs> I, she's yeah. scary. She, and her and her voice was just so terrifying. But I think one of the scenes that really got me was at the very end, and that girl is like the girl that they kidnapped and mm-hmm. stuff is like getting away and she's hiding in the cupboards. She just has that fucking butcher's knife. She's going around stabbing things, yep. opening all these like cabinets. She is terrifying. Pissed. I was like, holy shit. What year did that come out? That's an old movie. That's that's 80s, early 90s? 80s, I think. I think <sighs> so. Let me look it up real quick. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely sure there was some like a nose candy <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> on set. <'cause>, yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody seemed to be kind of like... <laughs> yeah, I can't. I think it's eighties, man. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But my um, so yeah, that's a good pick. Uh, my number two is actually it's a soft ass shit pick. Nineteen ninety one. Ninety one. Holy close. shit! Hey, I just graduated high school. Real? Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> wow. um, oh god! I, wait, hold on a second. I gotta check my AARP card. Ancient real quick. <laughs> silver sneakers. Over yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, I got her actually. Her name is just Woman. In the movie, <laughs> and the dad's name is just man, man, wow. and woman. man and woman, man and, woman. and woman. Wendy Robbie's the actress, terrifying, <laughs> terrifying. I mean, she still looks the same, but she's terrified. She's just older, more wrinkles. She I'm has that like s- that crazy bone structure too. Yeah, like, she does. Face. Yeah, she does. She has very high cheekbones like and like a, a very chiseled jaw. Yeah. Terrifying. I don't know. She scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my number two pick is uh, Diane Freeling from Poltergeist. That's a great pick. That's a really good one. That's I didn't even like think of them. she went through some shit. She, yeah, dude, that, she's crying through and the whole she's movie. Hot too in that movie. She, I agree. Dude, it's so fucking. I had hot a little crush movie. on her, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know who did it when she, they were. Uh, she almost turned a lot of gay guys straight. I, oh, for sure. <laughs> when she's in that pool and she's got like that white t-shirt on, and you can just see everything. I'm like, yeah, you know this what, is nice. <laughs> I, it'd be dead serious, right? As, as a kid in the '80s, when I don't know what that scene where she's just like rolling joints on the bed. And oh just, yeah, like, oh, yeah. I'm like, she knows how to party, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This is. Did she have? just like red underwear on like yeah. an oversized white shirt mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah amazing hot very Dude, hot she and the, oh, yeah she's she's amazing in that movie she's such a like such a good mom also what's as weird is like he, he's like they're like who lives in the house and she he's like my wife diane she's like 31 my daughter's like 17 i'm like wait a minute yeah but did a kid do the so you had her when you were 14 <laughs> yeah like, once yeah, again yeah, yeah. She, knew, she knew how to party yeah, yeah, yeah. Par- <laughs> so you had your daughter when you were 14 holy oh, shit oh my god yeah <laughs> Oh, the eighties, yeah, right, the eighties. Yeah. But she, uh, yeah, she, she's a good mom. I loved her. Yeah. She did, man. She got some shit, man. Her daughter went to a, uh, you know, wherever the hell parallel. Her. And then yeah, she, no, went, she went into that, that parallel universe, right, and had to go through like goo and get, you know, and yeah. She took one for the team. And oh, she, she, she really? Hell did. yeah, she you did. Yeah. While that dad is just running around the house, like I don't know what to do, Diane, but like she's like doing everything over here. Diane house. went to yeah. the closet. Yeah. She's like, I'm going in. Yeah, for real. Fucking, she went the hero. Got to get Carol in. Yeah, yeah. That's a she's tough girl, man. She's tough. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with my second one as just Mama from from Mama Mama. Oh, oh yeah, I, Garamel del Toro movie. That that was right. That was him. Right? No, yeah. that's um he produced it. That was um oh. Andy Machete. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, terrifying character again. Another character that just absolutely scares me. I don't know why she's very like she was autistic right in that movie. I, I think they. Know. I'm pretty sure like she was autistic I think so. and she had the baby and stuff, but um. I actually would have went with her. <laughs> like at the end when she's oh, at like, the end know, when she, she I would have went with her. Yeah, I'm like, I would like to be like yeah. I yeah, I very I very sympathetic character. I mean, like we don't understand why she's fighting for her children, but it's because she was done so many times and mm-hmm. had her children separated from her, and then she ends up taking one of them at the very end. I mean, I literally cried at the end of that movie because I felt like so like oh man because cow- you wanted them both to go or oh no, well, that was I, I no I, I, you were like oh I just want them both no I just. You know, that that's a character that, like, you're absolutely terrified to look at and stuff. But yeah. then, like, you see that, like, at the end, she wasn't trying to do harm to these kids. She was trying to protect them but yeah. with the, her situation and stuff and being, I think, I think she was molested or something or something wherever weird, she was. Yeah. It was something where it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. And she just wanted her kids. And I was mm-hmm. like, this hurts my heart to see. <laughs> and then to see that, like, she still died anyways. And yeah. she's this malevolent spirit who is just reliving days without her children. I'm like, that's. That's hard. That's hard to watch. And, and I don't know. It's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. I love that. It's a fun movie. <laughs> they shatter into butterflies. Yeah, they it's shatter cool. into little butterflies. It's like, oh, that's a good. That's good. That got yeah, me. Yeah, Mama's legit. Yeah, I love her. I love her. 
My number one uh, monstrous mama is Margaret White, Carrie's mom. Agreed. That's yeah. mine too. Is I was, I was yeah. thinking one of you guys got to pick that up. Yeah. That's she, a, okay, I don't know Piper how you Laurie could. Piper Laurie. Piper Laurie. Amazing. Is the shit. Yep. So fucking good in that. I love her. I love anything uh, Piper Laurie's yeah. in. And this was, I mean, her starring role. Amazing Bible she, thumper. She, 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 scary. Yeah, she went for it. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, religion's already scary as it is, but then to see it like literally like Push religion to that like yeah. manifest that 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 terrifies me and it scares me even more that watching that movie because I'm like there's real moms out there like that and Absolutely. Stuff. And yeah. you know, I don't know, scary like terrifying to see because I'm not a religious person at all by, by any means, but if you are like you do yeah. your thing, just don't go as weird as she did because that was <laughs> that's terrifying to see that people can really do that. And especially yeah. like to like put that on their kid and to do literally anything. Well, see like so like from like um like an lgbtq perspective Mm -hmm. we you know we joke about that but that kind of parenting comes to the forefront a lot with our community with a lot of the kids and Uh people that are now young adults when you say pray the gay away yeah yeah, Yeah, pray pray the gay away yeah that's what that's what i'm saying because it's like they they will do anything they will push religion on because they think it could fix any problem in the world Mm -hmm. and that is when we get this scary people the yep. scary we get like people I, I don't even know a name but like we get the people who now are like the closeted gays but then throw homophobic and uh, are homophobic now yeah. at, at their own community and that's when it gets to that's like dangerous serial killer or school shooters it's yeah. scary what religion can do to a person mm-hmm. and especially somebody as intense as that yeah. and then it just goes down the bloodline because that that that's taught that that's not just from a I you're don't not care. born with it yeah you're not born with it that is taught and when people are saying like you you're born with god and stuff like that no that you are taught that it is scary it, the way people manipulate religion and how the bible is seen that's a that's a real like that's true that's true horror yeah. i don't care what anything is that is true horror religion in my yeah. opinion so margaret right she's Margaret, yeah. <laughs> right? Going back to we're like totally yeah. making, but we we love her though. We we, were, I love, we love the actress. I, I love her, and you know what? I like to be scared. I loved it. I love that scene where she had just got impaled, and she's just hanging uh, there. Uh, oh yeah, that was. I yeah, forgot. We were talking about the saint. The, I forgot what saint she was yeah. supposed to be, but that's like mimicking that saint that was shot with the arrows. Yep. But, yeah, um, she's and, having uh, like an orgasm. She's having an orgasm, which I'm like again terrifying because it's like <laughs> holy shit. Uh, you know, I will give a little bit of a shout out to uh, who was it who played her in the original in the remake? Oh, oh, uh, Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore mm-hmm. loved her character as well. I I think that character is just very striking, and I think whoever plays her, except for the few like straight to TV or like cable yeah. movies of Carrie and stuff, but I know like I that character is just written so beautifully and it just terrifying all the way around. But, oh yeah, uh, I don't. Have you guys ever seen um, Dead Like Me, the the TV series? Uh-huh. I have not. No. Oh, she. I I just is watched it? it. Yeah, oh. she was in it just for an episode, and she's playing this dementia uh, um, patient. And again, I don't know for some reason, gave me very much the same character because she's just like so like weird and, and very creepy and i'm just like piper Laurie band you got some issues because you could just play a, a crazy person really well and mm-hmm. it just i'm like who are you in your real life <laughs> it's it really funny and i'm like i gotta meet her I i'm sorry she hasn't done she hasn't done like the circuit she hasn't done any of the cons uh uh-uh. uh i don't think she needs to though she's making bank just sitting in her house and that's letting true. all those movies go <laughs> so so yeah. yeah that's our 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 each of us have well we, we have the same number one so yeah same number one <laughs> yeah um i'll go with an honorable mention and go with mrs loomis from scream 2 oh yeah oh. <laughs> i actually hell i yeah. love i love her i love her Lori I, metcalf yeah, yeah yeah i love her um i like how like we in the beginning of the film we don't think anything of her and then she's <laughs> slowly creeping her way and then her iconic scene where she's like it's not um my oh yeah uh her motives her, my motive isn't as 90 as mickey's yeah. it's just straight revenge and i'm like yeah that, that's when Sydney, she's amazing. like mrs loomis she's like <laughs> she's like yeah you couldn't tell she's like oh just a little work done and yeah. i was like right. yeah that's amazing i she, love i love anytime somebody kicks a dead body yeah, she, just kick, yeah. she kicks mickey's body she's like she's like yeah. it's fucking, she's he just was, like uh, yeah, he was insane he's insane i was like yeah. oh, i think two you. uh honorable mention i want to just start yeah, go for it. uh don't i mean well, i think her name was donna cujo Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. She went yeah. through some shit, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. That yeah. movie's intense. Yeah. I feel bad for those. And then another Stephen King is uh, Winnie Torrance, man. She went through some heat in Shining right. as well, right? Oh, so yeah. oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. yeah. She's, and look, Damn, I can't believe I like totally forgot about Winnie. We love us some Shelley Duvall, too. Shelley I know. Duvall. Man, she, uh, yeah. 
She went through some shit in that movie. Mm, totally, man. right? Like, holy shit. <laughs> 75 <laughs> takes and shit. Oh, yeah, right? God. Yeah, no she, wonder she was insane at the end of the movie. Yeah. I mean, holy yeah. shit. King, Stephen King, like, he, he, he likes he, fucked he up. He puts up. women through he some shit. He puts women through shit and he'll, he'll kill kids uh, yeah. constantly, right? You know, yeah. or put them through shit as well. So yeah. that's like his MO, you he, know? He so. definitely has mommy issues. <laughs> Stephen King has mommy oh, issues. Yeah. And he's that kid in every movie. Like, that's him <laughs> in his real life. Like, that's what he's portraying. Yeah. Who was the, um, in Misery, what's her name? Uh, Annie. Annie. I don't know Annie her real name. Annie yeah. Wilkes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we just, I don't know if, if you guys watched Castle Rock at all. I, I missed that. Good series. Good series. Um, goes back to, I know season one goes with like Shawshank Redemption mm. and stuff like mm. that in the in the prison. And then uh, season two goes with Annie Wilkes' backstory. And we really? find oh, out what? she's a mother. And oh. she's fucking insane in that mo- in that show because it's it's her younger and it's the girl who plays um in Mean Girls as um the goth friend. Oh, uh Lizzie something like Is it Lizzie Kaplan? I think so. Yeah, she plays Annie in that. And, and I mean, oh. okay, when I first saw it I was like, I don't know about this actress choice. But after I'm starting to see it, she did very good Annie like mannerisms and stuff mm-hmm. and we see like how she gets fucked up in the head and how she's already like she's on like antipsychotics through the whole thing and she's Tasty. already seeing things. <laughs> but we already <laughs> see how she has the obsession with people and stuff and um like her her obsession with with certain things yeah. and stuff. So like at and this she's like a, a nurse at a hotel or at a hospital and stuff. So she's already like obsessing with some of the patients and stuff. And she's already in this book club, which introduces her to the author mm. and, and the uh, misery. A great TV show, but that really shows, but she has a daughter and it shows how like she didn't want her daughter. She's kind of those people like, I don't want you ever going out. You like, I'm your only best friend kind Holy of thing. Shit. And I'm like, it gets intense. And I think she ends up killing her daughter at the end of the series. I think <laughs> wow. if I believe, but it's pretty intense, but I'll, I'll give an honor mention to her because I'm like, I never thought she'd be like, Andy Wilkes would be a mother, but like, yeah, when yeah. you watch that TV show, she's fucking insane as a mom. So I'm like, <laughs> I love badass, the, badass. I, well, the movie, I, I mean, I remember there's like that scariest movie moments and the guys are talking about that movie and they're like, when she like she's so beefy, she just picks him up and throws him over uh, her shoulder. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's she's no joke. Yeah, she isn't. But, so yeah, yeah th- those, those are, are those are our picks. Yeah, those are our like monster it. mommies. Yeah, yeah, yeah monstrous like, mamas. Oh, yeah. barbarian. That one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The I, breastfeeding lady, man. Mm-hmm. I was gonna that was say low, that was I was low key mention, hot. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it was hot. Granny, he doesn't have to be that low. Sorry, it's high key. No, I was about to add barbarian, but I didn't know if that's still too new of a movie. People wouldn't have understood, and I didn't want to give it away. But yeah, no, you'll know. If you haven't seen the pathetic monstrous mom, you'll is know. Good. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But that was. But yeah. okay. Are let me just a little side note. Are we kind of over the the creature design of like the the saggy boobs, long hair, mm. like long stringy hair monster? Because yeah. I kind of am. Because we've seen that with like the new Blair Witch. Yeah. We've seen it in Smile. I don't know if you guys have seen Smile yet, yeah. but we saw that very similar creature at the end. Then Barbarian. Like mom, right? okay. It goes even yeah. go back. Go go back to um. Uh, Shining. Remember when oh, Jack oh, Torrance yeah, 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 to yeah. room two thirty seven, whatever. Yeah, when yeah. she actually turns the saggy, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it's you're yeah. right. Yeah. But like, I'm like, I'm kind of over that because it's like, oh, like ugly woman, bad kind of yeah. thing. Like, oh, saggy boobs and and black stringy hair. Yeah. Let's let's make them the villain. Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of over that character. Like, I don't know. I feel like that we've been seeing that a lot lately. We need to go back to like the the uh, <laughs> like sex positive, like Black <laughs> yeah. Danner. Howling to yeah, yeah, there we go. Like, 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 you know what I mean? Where's, where's like the, our, like, I want every film that had that seventy soft focus. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. werewolf, <laughs> werewolf, like fuck queen or yep. whatever she yeah. was. Where's our succubus and stuff like yeah. that? Like, like they're, they're the true villains, right? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. That was just a little bit of a side note because I've been seeing that recently, and I and I um, was listening it is to um, the crone, the crone, yeah, is, like yeah, yeah it's very like much the crone. the crone. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. As soon as you said, I can picture it. I mean, as soon as you said, you know, yeah, it's like it's not hard to like. I mean, it's just when we. When we first got introduced to that character, it was like, oh, that's that's pretty like that's pretty badass looking right. good stuff. And I'm like, but then films at this point have just like really like. I think we're, but we're gonna here. probably be in that for a little while longer. Oh, we just definitely because are. It's very similar to whenever the country or whenever like the world goes through. It was nine you know, eleven was primarily a, a Western thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when that happened, then I think we talked about it on the other pod. Everything after that was all the films that were horror were kind of like extreme. Yeah. yeah. I mean? yeah Everything yeah. was extreme. That was like when the Saw franchise launched yep. and like uh-huh. um, Final Destinations and all that shit. Yeah. Hostile, um, and it was all like because it was kind of 
you know, I mean, it was like the, the, the public subconscious, but we were dealing with 9-11. Mm-hmm. Now we're dealing with post-pandemic. Right. Yeah. And so a, a crone indicates illness. A crone visually represents sickness yeah. and yeah. uncertainty with health. Yeah. And so maybe that's why that's bleeding it, into the public also, conscience. And it also kind of um kind of bleeds into a little bit of like the aging process of like yeah. how we're all at this point where aging is inevitable and so like I don't like know like we but <laughs> we I don't know us, us creatures of the night I'm don't age. That, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know like there's a lot of people now who are afraid of of like the old people and like like uh, I'll mention like what the Boulay said, like granny whore and mm-hmm. stuff. Cause I think that's very similar. X. Like, yeah. X and stuff like that. Yeah, or, oh, yeah, or what was that? That, um, yeah. that um, other one where it was like, um, and inha- oh, fuck, I can't remember. Inherited Deborah or Logan. something. <laughs> Deborah Logan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Oh God. Like, yeah. That yeah was... Like very similar characters. And I yeah. think it's just like old woman, bad, old, yeah. ugly woman, bad. That is and true. I'm just over that character. Cause yeah. then, because then it's like, Oh, now we're just going to treat every old person as if like they're automatically <laughs> bad. Just like, it's like the, like the thing, like fat man, bad kind of thing. Like fat. any fat guys just bad in movies and stuff. Like he's I thought pig. it would be like, um, maybe I, th- well, if, you know, had like essentially the gay, co- the gay company. <laughs> the, the gay company <laughs> right. had like the gay the gay community not um kind of rallied around like getting monkeypox under control yeah. on our own yeah um which is what happened uh-huh. uh like we're not going through that 80s shit again yeah. right mm-hmm. but um so had that not happened then we probably would be going into some kind of pox horror you know like, i was gonna say that which I, we yeah. actually talked about that yeah. we were joking i think in a text thread about yeah. the like, the monkey pox fucking whatever mm-hmm. what, what, yeah. some way i say blom house is already producing or yeah something. Like, <laughs> yeah some kind of pox which, horror i'm yeah. kind of surprised that we haven't seen more like illness and like contagious diseases because i'm like we got way too close like close to that being a reality mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm very surprised we haven't seen that recently and like who knows i know like they were saying something about um, Halloween Kills was originally supposed to add in like pandemic horror. And I stuff. thought that they said that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were they were, to the, yeah, yeah. There was, there was supposed to be, or I, I think they even said like, Halloween ends. They were supposed to say like that's why they hadn't seen Michael is because everybody was indoors and stuff and COVID scares. And I I'm think like, I remember them saying something. They were going to tie the pandemic. Yeah, they were going to tie it. the pandemic into it. So I'm kind of surprised that we just kind of grazed over that now. Yeah, maybe I mean, uh, who knows? maybe they did enough tests where it's just like, look, people don't want to see this shit. We, yeah, I guess we, so. we, we, that's reality. I, we, we're probably one of those endings where they were like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're here for. Probably. We're here for you know, give me, give me, give me away from reality for, yeah. for yeah. two fucking hours, and right? that's my and that's my big thing too is yep. with my horror. I like things that can get me out of my reality I'm living into, not something that puts me closer into it, makes me more scared of the world. There mm-hmm. was a uh, a movie, and it's not horror, but it's I think, I think it's called Songbirds or something. I don't know if mm. you guys heard it. No, it got mm. buried quick, and it was basically we're on year fifteen of the pandemic type of thing, oh, and, and and it was a it was like a Netflix one, which is kind of a little shocked, mm. and oh. it was. It was dreadful. Like, really? hey, this is what it's going to look like. Yeah. And I mean, it was fuck. It was like you. If I go to say Wolf Tummy's house before I can do anything, mm-hmm. I have to like stick my head in a box and it has to sterilize my hands oh, and, and, and for anything. I won't drop off a letter. But everybody had these installed in their houses. And oh, it was, yeah. And it was just you know. So there was like no immunity. You oh, just had to do that to like not. Correct. Become... Yeah. And it was Jeez. it was dreadful, man. And but it I think it got like and then it was basically how the you know it went conspiracy as well. Mm-hmm. Like the government's doing. All this. Anyway, and it they got it buried this film. They buried yeah. this film like it was out for like a, two days, and then it was like you can't even find it. They on replaced Netflix. it with oh, the monsters. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it like, was too close to reality. Bring the camp back. This got yeah. too real. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, I, yeah. yeah, I think it was somewhere. Look at I'll, I'll see I'll, if I can find it. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably watch it tonight. <laughs> oh, I will not be watching that because that will get my mind going. I don't like that. Can like Contagion. That yeah, was, yeah. That, Contagion. That I was like say him, that was a uh, that was ahead of its time because when did that movie come out? That was a. That, that was pretty early. Like, yeah, 2004-ish. Yeah, yeah I was about to say. I remember that they put that during the pandemic. They actually put that as one like, of their highlight mm-hmm. movies. And it was because of, obviously, us being in the pandemic and stuff. And I just remember watching that movie. I've just been like, God damn, I hope it doesn't get like this. And then it mm-hmm. was really starting to get like that. I'm like, oh, fuck. It, it's really becoming that movie. That, that got me nervous. I did like staying home. I mean, I must say. I love staying home. <laughs> I like staying home a lot. So well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, end it with um, some of our questions. Uh, yeah, people. I only have one. The rest of them were just sex things. Yeah. So like, I have one question <laughs> that somebody asked. Yeah. And I'll still spin it towards sex, but I'll start with the Always. question that, while I remember it. Yeah. And I apologize to the to the uh, listener <laughs> that <laughs> that gave me this question because I forgot your yeah. name. Oh. But let's oh, just call man. you Bill. <laughs> so Bill said. Um, <laughs> Bill says uh, that. We, I probably will remember the name like, yeah. right mid sentence. Um, uh, what would we have done for the witch challenge personally? What what look would you have done? Oh, 
That's a great question. Um, I'm going to go with like, because we were already mentioning it last episode as to how I really <laughs> yeah. like the classic Green Witch and mm-hmm. stuff. I would have loved to have done like an homage to Margaret. What was her name? Margaret something. Margaret Hamill. Margaret Hamill. Yeah, Margaret Hamill. And just do like full like classic Green Witch. Is that her name? Big like puffy sleeves. It is. It's Margaret okay. Hamill. Yeah. Uh, or Hamilton. 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 It's not the it, it's not the age. Really, it's something Margaret. Really close. She Some, was the witch. Something to do with Broadway. I, said, I, can't I was going yeah. Margaret Thatcher. That was way <laughs> off. Yeah. All right. And yeah. Margaret. I don't know. And Margaret. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, yeah. I would do like. Yeah, like original green face witch, long black dress, really pointy hat. Uh, I love that. I love that classic look. Yeah, I would love that. I would love. I would kind of do something similar to what Hoso did with his wand. How it Mm, was like the bubbles. I would do like a broom that kind of like had like a fog machine or something like smoky. So like when I was moving it, it was all smoky and stuff. I would have loved to have done that and had the ruby slippers. Oh yeah, yeah. I would have had like really big since we had to do like the shoe challenge part. I would have had like encrusted, but not like just like just like. Dorothy's like little bedazzled. Mm-hmm. I would have had like real big chunky like rubies like yeah, slippers, nice. something that would like actually look like crystals and stuff and diamonds. Mm-hmm. I'm shocked no one went with that look. I looked that similar. Yeah, I, that. I, what, you think what I was, was surprised. Was that too obvious? I think so. I yeah. think sometimes people take the challenge a little too like, or like I think it, they suffer what Abora does and goes like way too far from the challenge as they're yeah. doing like these big things yeah. where like someone's like a garden witch like melissa was like the garden yeah. witch and then uh who else or like yovska was like the candy witch from like hansel and gretel and stuff like that yeah. like i, don't I know, would go never back, go in that house yeah like that go, wig. do the classics man <laughs> like i don't know okay. <laughs> yeah or or even maybe do something like season of the witch like that that yeah. uh that witch mask mm-hmm. i would love to have done I something think if like you, that if you do it good you can't like say that's phoned in because if you do it good that's i mean it's something that everybody recognizes yeah. right i mean yeah. that's something, i think it's cool yes yeah. I, I yeah but if you fuck it up and you're buried yeah i talk so much shit but you know i would fuck up everything every time because <laughs> yeah. i'm always like gonna take it like to this dirty ugly place right because that's where i feel the safest yeah because so you know you i would have you know what i mean so like one of the common beliefs about witches is when they pledge their allegiance to the, to the devil yeah. right that um often the devil appears um in a cat's anus oh i don't know if you guys know about that i, I, I did missed not that know that i just so yeah so what happens is it's like a, it's like a no it's like not just a go <laughs> yeah, so it's like um this like weird um I would have done a weird giant reverse body. Okay. So like I'm essentially like I, when I came up, my face would be the cat's anus. Anus. Oh. And then you have to kiss me on the face because that's how you pledge your allegiance to me. So that would be like, so basically like the tail would be over my head. Oh my my arms would be the back legs. Yeah. And yeah. then the head would be back here, uh-huh. like where my butt is. Yeah. And then I would kind of go up like this, and then my face would just be like the cat's butthole. The cane. Oh. Okay. All right. I pay. Yeah. I pay to see this costume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need yeah. To make this. For it's the in next... a movie. It's in that one weird like. Um, silent movie. I can't remember, but it's like it's banned. Yeah, but of it's course the one it is. with if all the devils like and everything that. flying. Is this about? a neon semen? No, yeah, neon, neon semen. <laughs> I mean, by the way, I, don't, I, I said Shrek, but I don't think it's him. So I apologize if he hears this. I bet this, it is. No, because he'll probably be is. like, "That wasn't me, you motherfucker." <laughs> anyway, sh- shout out to Shrek. Shout out to Shrek. <laughs> you do good. You do good work. You do good shit, man. Yeah, you're Big doing God's here. work. You're doing the God's work here. But um, yeah, that's what I would do. I would do like the reverse um cat butt, and then be like. My face would be like the anus. So you need to make this happen for the yeah. next Terror Traders uh, cosplay oh, yeah. contest. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> kissing booth. You want a kissing guess, booth? No, yeah. uh, no, kissing booth, yes. <laughs> no, uh, no ball pits here. No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. You know, I don't know. We still might young. need to. We might need yeah, to. Yeah, so that's what I do. Because they're going to be like, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. need to go home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love that. That's great. That's a good so, question. Uh, yeah, that's what I would do. So that's the only question I got. Go oh, ahead. wow. Okay, great. I don't know how I'm going to top that one. Yeah. But, uh, we're cat's buttholes. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I didn't know, I know that, by the way. Yeah, I yeah. Look it up. Yeah, yeah. It's like... I'm going to have to and, do my and When they call. have, like, the Black Sabbaths, uh-huh. they, yeah. um, that's what would happen is, like, the devil would appear on a throne. Right. And then it would be like the rear end of a giant cat, what? and then the tail comes up, and, and then it's just his and face. the witches walk up, and it's like the butthole they is his their, face. They kiss the and cat's they, they each one by oh one kiss God. kiss the anus of the cat. Who fucking thought of this, man? This is the uh, devil, <laughs> the <laughs> devil himself, the devil. literally. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this miserable Some for you. Bible thumper. That's <laughs> what she thought. Oh, well, obviously, man. that's what it was. Someone oh, yeah. that thought, that's like, what what's the like worst? Right. Yeah, that's why I'm not realizing. That, yeah, it's some Bible thumper who like took it, like, because like, somebody probably got like toxoplasmosis from like scooping up cat shit and yeah. went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And they said that's what they did. You know, you like, kissed the devil's butt. You kissed no, the devil's wait, rectum. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, there's that. Oh God, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, Sorry. Man. Yeah. I was thinking okay. about that song when he's like, I never sucked Satan's dick. I can't remember what the song is when he <laughs> oh, said that. Oh, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. Okay. So um, next question comes from Mickey the Vampire Slayer. That sounds he, familiar. Yes. Uh, he's on Instagram. Okay. I know that. Yeah, name. yeah, yeah. He's very big in the big horror community and stuff. I know he's, I think he shouted you out a few times. Yeah. Name yeah is he, very yeah. familiar. Yeah. Um, anyways, he says, if you guys were in control of the Scream franchise, what direction would you take it? Mm. Now, wow. this was very interesting. Yeah, that's and a- we were already kind of talking about this before we started the podcast. Um, so I'll let you go first, who's, Franco. Who's in charge of that right now? What studio is that on? Uh, right? That is... Uh, Great question. Shoot. Uh, is it like Universal or no, some shit? Uh, it, uh, um, 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 it's not the one house, is it? No, 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 no. It's no, the one it's who did uh, uh, Ready or Not. Oh fuck! Uh, Radio Silence. Radio Silence. Is it? Yeah, Radio yeah. Silence. Yeah, that's that's their name. Yeah, Radio Silence. So okay, they're so in charge got, of it now. They've got some of, freedom. They do. They yeah. got a lot. And they, they can they, take it in different places. They, yeah. And like I said, if you guys didn't hear this, like bloody disgusting. I'm gonna throw this out. Kind of mm-hmm. what they 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 mentioned that one. Uh, once again, I think you may have seen it too. Um, yeah. That there, th- this next one, Scream Six, is gonna be a gore fest. Gore fest. Now that's, is yeah. this is this. Coming from because Terrifier Two has success, or, mm-hmm. or, or, or you know, it's just, are we at that level now? You know how like what scared us in the eighties and you know eighties movies, seventy movies, you probably don't scare a, a younger person these days. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Maybe yeah. they do, but you know what? We, you know, you, you got to go above and beyond in a lot of horror these days, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so is this like this is the next level? They had to they had to step this up because I think if you ask me, this is once again, no one asked me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Yeah, tell um, me, yeah, <laughs> tell it. I got to control the mic. So yeah, literally. Here. <laughs> um, is I don't I don't think by going like a, a hardcore terrifier to art the clown style t- gore fest is that's the I don't think it's the right audience. No, no. this is and, a party fucking type of you know this is a fair weathered horror franchise. You ask me, right? Yeah, yeah. and uh, and I because I say that because I got my my kid got into horror going you know, with her friends watching Scream, which yep. is they laugh, they have fun, they, yeah, they break the fourth wall, they do all yeah. that crazy right. stuff, you know, yeah. And but if you're going to go hardcore like art the clown just blood and guts, I so don't it's know basically going to be like um, it'll be like a killer with. Like a ninth, a tenth of the charisma of art, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Because he's in a mask, right. so it's like expressionless, doing all this brutality. Yeah, and I mean, in my opinion, I don't know why they would do that in the first place. Because like, if if they're trying to go off the the craze train of art, the clown and stuff, mm-hmm. it doesn't make sense because Ghostface is everyday people, right? Yeah, and art is very much not. He's a Super supernatural yeah. being yeah. who yeah. can do that fucked up shit right. and and have it as as. Ghostface, I mean, he gets the the living shit kicked out of him in those movies. I mm, mean, sure. like he's getting punched, thrown downstairs. I mean, Car doors accidents. slammed, <laughs> refrigerators, beer bottles thrown at him. I mean, that's what makes yeah. the the that or movie. her we or her. Yeah, it's just them. Just, yeah, it's just we them. A little it's sixty pound girl killed yeah, Dewey. Right? Killed Dewey, right? Happened, right? But... Literally <laughs> lifted his ass off the ground and gutted him. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but it's like <laughs> that's you know, right. She did. Yeah, yeah, she literally did. She like gutted his uh, ass off the ground. We literally see his feet rise up. And I'm like, I know. How did this like, like five foot four girl <laughs> do that to Dewey, my guy? No, right? Um, that okay? Is he Let's, coming back? Is Dewey coming back? Okay, well, I did hear, <laughs> I did hear, and and Radio Silence did say they did shoot, and there was supposed to be an end credit of Dewey surviving. Really? Oh. They did shoot him surviving. I don't know how that's possible. Yeah, I yeah. mean, in in the world of Scream, I mean. Sydney has been stabbed in the gut, I think, like three times now at this point. <laughs> and I mean, she's had her, like, yeah. I mean, fully out of surgery and got her, like, stitches kicked out of her and stuff. So, yeah. like, I mean, it, it wouldn't be the, like, worst thing to happen and stuff. And, like, the most, like, oh my God, he's he survived. I mean, because, yeah. I mean, he already got the shit kicked out of him in the first one and, mm-hmm. and stabbed, and we right. all thought he was dead. In the second one, we thought he was dead. I mean, at this point, it's just a, it's just the pattern of oh, we think Dewey's dead, but he survives somehow. At this point, he's just gonna be a vegetable and like yeah. this. he's gonna be in a chair at this point. Um, but you know, like I don't know what Dude, direction you go. Where, where do you go with this thing? Oh, you you got God. you got the reins. Oh, do I got the oh shit? Okay, um, the direction I would go is. I don't know. I kind of want to see because we all know that Kirby Reed is coming back. Obviously, mm-hmm. Hannah Pantanier is coming back in her starring role. I kind of want to see her as the killer. I kind of mm-hmm. want to see what happens to because we kind of just like with with um with all the movies and stuff. We always sh- highlight Gail, Sydney, and Dewey and yeah. their troubles, but they don't really, in my opinion, they don't really show the real like 
outcomes of survivors and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like, I mean, I know, like, Sydney, she, she's a little fucked in the head sometimes. And, like, Scream 3, she's a recluse and stuff like that. But I don't know. I, like, if if they are smart, I would love to see Kirby be, like, this, like, real scared. Like, she's stuck in her house, yeah. gets goes insane, and then kind of gets so insane that she she loses reality and starts killing people kind of as like a revenge plot of like well yeah if if this person could have done this to me and and almost killed me why can't i do the same kind of like yeah getting revenge on society and stuff and like this is what happens to true survivors and stuff because i mean we've seen that happen in real life where like uh, like kids who are been abused their whole lives or something like that they end up being very fucked up people in Mm -hmm. the real world and they do fucked up shit um so i'd kind of like to see yeah i'd like to see maybe one of our survivors go ham and start mm-hmm. killing people, and then the, and then like the reveal is it's like the whole time they they were going against someone of their own. Sydney and them are like, well, yeah. we know Sydney's not going to be a part of this one, but like Gail, and unless they throw her another forty gonna, million, away, yeah, right? She'll change her tune. Quick. <laughs> I, I did see. I don't know if this is like anything. This is just Twitter, and this could be complete bullshit because I'm on all the the Twitter pages where they leak stuff or scream and stuff. They did show her filming something yeah i know she was filming during the i guess the filming of script she's also filming another series where she's a police officer so i know there was some like leaked photos of her with a badge and stuff that people oh were shit saying. that's right that, yeah. i saw actually i saw that yeah. that was stupid yeah 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 and and so like that got like twitter crazy because they thought maybe she became like a sheriff or like a police i don't know why that she you know what that. that would be my pick right there sydney becomes a new sheriff you know that's not a bad <laughs> way to go i would kind of she's like doing pull-ups like <laughs> yeah <laughs> trying to pack, you know what i mean yeah, she's yeah. trying to get through police academy literally yeah um you know i did see that they she was shooting something so who knows we might get her back but all i know is i i don't know i kind of want to see our our survivors for this being be a killer. Yeah, I don't know. Or or maybe going back to what I originally wanted in Scream Five, and I always thought Tara should have been the third killer. Mm. I thought there should have been not two, but like revealed that she was the killer the whole time, and she deliberately got stabbed and was in a bed because she had these two manipulated and was kind of like the ringleader where she was telling them what to do, mm. and then they end up dying and stuff. But I don't know. Maybe that'd be a cool thing to maybe see Tara come back as a killer. I just need it to be off the wall shit. I need like I need Sydney to become the new sheriff, and nice. then I need like Rose McGowan to come back because oh, she's wow. been like the ringleader the entire time, yeah. oh. and she faked her own death. And oh, she was shit. never dead, and she Wait. she's running a whole like a a, a, a satanic cult that worships cats buttholes. Yeah, right? Exactly, <laughs> and they all just have these black robes. And said, "Okay, I get this." And right? she only speaks Spanish. Yeah. Oh Wait, yeah, I love this. That 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 goes back kind of maybe she really when, does when speak you said, Spanish. When though. you said um, uh, cult, I mean. Stu Mocker. Yeah. I mean, I know that was always part of Scream yep. 3 was that he was supposed to be leading this cult and he had a bunch of kids killing look people. How many, I mean, look in real life how yeah. many people pretty much worship serial killers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I or, mean, look at the Jeffrey Dahmer craze we just went through. Right. And mm-hmm. the amount of people who were Id- idolizing him and saying that he... Yeah. Did great thing. I just think people want to have was. sex with the guy that played him, though. They do. Well, like, yeah, Evan Peters, Peters, who does That's it. how I feel, anyway. But, like... I mean, and and that's kind of the problem with nowadays with like the the revamp of serial killers. I mean, they had Ross Lynch also play mm-hmm. him and my friend Dahmer and stuff. And again, we had a little bit of a craze when that came out because everybody was like, "I want to fuck Le- like Ross Lynch," but then they were saying, "Oh, I want to fuck Jeffrey Dahmer and stuff." Mm-hmm. No, you don't. But like, I mean, good luck with that. <laughs> but like, you know, have you ever tried to have it... sex around something dead? It's no, not... <laughs> no. no. Uh, but you know. No. Who knows? I mean, that would be kind of cool to see Stu Mocker. He actually lived because I I know they were supposed to show odd t- uh, like autopsy pictures in the fifth movie of yeah. his death, and they cut that out. Mm. And my only explanation for why they cut that out is because they don't want him dead. Yeah, because if they showed autopsy pictures, I mean, that confirms he really died. Right. Yeah. And there's always been that that conspiracy that he never died in the first place. Right. So, and with Wes Craven saying that there was a possibility he wanted him to come back and be a cult leader. That'd be pretty cool, especially with this coming out or with Scream 6 being set in New York. Hmm, I feel like that'd be a great place for a cult to like go out because New York is so big and the amount of like tunnels and and subway stations and stuff. I'd love to see like three or four ghost face. That'd be amazing. What if they do a reverse, like a time jump backwards, Ooh. and they set it back to like when New York was filthy and dirty because the, when the masks first came out before Scream. Yeah. 
like, and it's like just some 40 dude second run- street area yeah, right, and it's shit. like some dude running around with that mask all right fucking oh. killing people like you know what i mean i like this That'd and like cool. chasing him into the sewers and shit yeah. yeah and it's like no one knows because there is no like you know there what i mean no there's no media space. yeah he's just like terrorizing these people running through the city yeah. trying to escape them very That'd escape cool. from new york That's but he yeah. has like the old school like the first gen the real mask. gen mask yeah before it was Ooh. called scream or before yeah. it was called ghost he was yeah. called the peanut eye ghost yeah. or peanut yeah, yeah peanut, peanut eyes. eyes yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's actually i like that i like, I like I mean, that like, too. they could you know what i mean they could like cgi new york and build some sets but For sure just yeah. filthy like yeah like i said know, 42nd street like grindhouse field type of you're like running through a porn theater yeah like going like elbows through See, that's actually that's really good man yeah, and, and that would actually because right now when I'm, I'm sitting there thinking Scream Six, I'm mm-hmm. I'm not excited. There's no, yeah. there's nothing in my body that's getting excited. I will always be excited for Scream, <laughs> but I'm I'm a little hesitant. Yeah, right those now. like CD sex hallways. Like but yeah, if you do mm-hmm. something like that, fuck yeah, hell that's yeah. A, that's mm-hmm. a, that's a like twist. those curtains. You know yeah. what I mean? And you're in there. Oh, and, oh and he's yeah. just like whoosh, like pulling them open, and you're hiding. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay, you're welcome. That's it. That's yeah. what that's what we're gonna do. Mm-hmm. We'll just we'll do it on OnlyFans. We'll do it ourselves. <laughs> is, oh yeah, self finance it. Is this an, wait, and, and another thing I'm gonna go back to kind of with like the stereotype thing when I was saying like old woman bad. Mm-hmm. Is, do do we think it's smart to have Scream Six saying like bad in New York and then saying that they want it to be more violent and the more glorious? I don't know. Does that kind of seem as like a stereotype of like how dangerous New York is? No, because New York's or like is that now. or is that that's my okay? That was my question because I'm like I don't know. I, I mean, saw if they, this. If they I said Chicago Twitter, or something, I'd be like, oh. yeah. <laughs> I saw this. Well, it's, the only reason I asked this is because I saw this on Twitter where someone was arguing saying that that's a little bit of a stereotype and that they're not excited for it and stuff mm. and that. It, it would go wrong very quickly. But in my opinion, I I mean, someone, I haven't been to New York. I really want to. The only reason I haven't is because of how scary I'm going by myself. Hmm. And I well, don't know. Depends what like, you say. Well, I don't know. The places I find myself sometimes. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> I I, you. I'd be very scared to go by myself. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. That was kind of just a, like a little thought in my head that I was like, is is that a little wrong? But I don't know. I, uh-huh. think, I, I don't know. I'm excited because, one, I'm excited to kind of see a new environment for scream and kind of i would love to see like the filthy i hope with the the because i do know that there's the really cool subway kill that they're they've been hyping up on twitter Mm -hmm. and stuff so and and i know we've they already took pictures of them in a subway station i'm very excited to see that because subway stations already scared the fuck out of me especially the ones in la and stuff Mm -hmm. oh and at night uh they scare me so like just to see like ghost face in a very grimy and disgusting thing like new york subway stations yeah i don't know that i don't know that seems pretty scary to me in my opinion it'd be interesting yeah and, yeah. and, and so secluded too when you're on that train there's nowhere to go Mm-mm. so how are you supposed to like fight him off and like get him? i mean you're gonna have to beat the shit out of him and make sure he does not coming up in order to make sure that you don't get killed right you're gonna die there's no oh yeah you're yeah. gonna die if you're on that if you're in the scene with him yeah yeah you're gonna yeah hit <laughs> yeah uh how do we feel about um What's her name? Sig- Sigourney Weaver? No, no, no. Sigourney Beaver. Sigourney <laughs> be- Beaver? Oh, no, she's uh, going to be in it. Great. Uh, what, what's that's that girl's real person. Name? What's that girl's name it? from? Yeah, yeah Sigourney she's Weaver. Yeah, yeah. Sigourney <laughs> Weaver. She's yeah, hot. she is. Um, I'm looking her up now. What is it? Um, uh, what? Uh, shoot, she's from Ready or Not. She was the the main girl. In that. Oh yeah. I know. I can't remember. I know you're talking about though. She's starring. I know, I know you're talking about. She's starring in in the new one. In the new one. Hmm. And she's supposed to be a scream queen in that. So, we'll see. And, and people are saying she's big supposed shoes to, be to fill. Big, 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 big. Um, some people are saying that she's supposed to be playing Amber's character in Stab. I mm. guess. Um, other people are saying that she's supposed to be uh, first kill. I don't know mm. how I feel about that. Mm. I liked her in Ready or Not, but I don't know how I feel about her just being a first kill. Hmm. Well, I mean, we'll see. You know, we're like. We have no idea where this is going to go. I have no clue. Yeah. No yeah. idea. Yeah. And I mean, hopefully forward, but pretty exciting <laughs> though. I mean, Radio Silence, I will say pretty pretty great. I mean, I loved I love Ready or Not. I like I liked Scream 5. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. I liked the 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 opening to what they can do with mm-hmm. the the franchise. So, I'm excited. I don't know if it's necessarily like going to be the greatest thing in the world, but when has like I mean, Besides Scream, the first Scream, when has it ever been the greatest thing in the world? So right. after that, yeah, I mean the first one's iconic, but after that, it's never really been like the ma- like amazing. 
And it'd be kind of hard to jump to six and be in the best of it. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, at this point, like, I guess you just can't, get what we get. You yeah, know? I mean, it's like at this point, there's no way of like. Give me a back. good slasher. Yeah, I mean, if I'm it's happy. taking you six entries at this point, like, there's no way you're getting back right. up there. I mean, you know, they made a lot of movie. I mean, a lot of movie, a lot of money on this last one. So mm. on this last movie, so they did. Yeah, so that does open up. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. What's our next question? <laughs> um, so Javi, um, Javier says uh, or is asking us, um, what is. What is one of our favorite soundtracks from a horror movie? Favorite horror soundtrack? Yeah. If you want to do more than one, let's do more than one. But I, I'm going to uh, go with one. Go ahead. For mine. I'm going to go with uh, the remake of Maniac with Elijah Wood. We have that really cool uh, synth wave soundtrack that I am obsessed with. It, it is so good. It makes that film, like the, the film alone... I don't know if have you guys ever seen I've that seen one. It. Yeah, really good. Yeah. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I really liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, but that soundtrack really amped up that movie for me, in my yeah. opinion. Made me feel really like weird in in places, especially like that first. On kill. your body or oh, oh, oh like, <laughs> any sense oh, you of the like form? <laughs> any sense of the form? <laughs> okay. Honestly, like, I don't know why I was really horny for Elijah Wood in that because I would never say that any other time. But uh, no, I stood um, next to Elijah Wood in oh. the green room. Yeah. Really? Did you? Yeah. What? Yeah, he's like. First off, they list like Elijah he's Wood. Tiny. Like, he's tiny. Yeah, he's a tiny guy. He's like five five, and then he's yeah. like five eight. I'm like five eight. In my ass. <laughs> that dude is like yeah. way shorter than me. Yeah. But also, uh, he is like a porcelain doll. Really? He really? is like yeah. I'm like, what is your skin routine? Because he's like looks like he's made really. Out of, yeah, he looks like a vampire. Like he has oh, vampire shit. skin. He is very white. Like yeah. very 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 translucent. Very, very hell. <laughs> translucent. Uh, yeah. Yeah, honestly, yeah, you can see like the bloods like or the veins right through him. Um, I don't know. I, it's kind of funny that they chose him for that role because yeah. in the original we have like this like imposing like yeah muscular right. man and stuff very like i don't know very scary and then we get little elijah Wood. like you slap the shit out of him yeah i mean <laughs> you could just like slap him and tell him to go into the corner and he'd listen to he's like yes mommy and like go into the corner and then to find him like he's like scalping prostitutes yeah. on the street and like killing mm-hmm. his mom and stuff like i don't know that movie was wild but that was a good that kind of reminded me of like a grindhouse film in yeah. my opinion there was like a real grainy yeah like green filter to it it was always shot at night in the middle of the streets i don't know that movie gave me like, was it no. new york was it new where was that where was that uh it? i think it was in uh, I can't or chicago I yeah it was, it was one of them but it's dirty right yeah. it was dirty yeah. i know the first kill is like in this um like weird parking like out just outdoor parking it wasn't even like like a normal like uh parking garage or anything it was just outside and right. it was just a bunch of cars and for some reason like there's bob wire on the fences and stuff really freaked me out and yeah. then he kills her in like this grimy apartment so it's like wherever they shot that i know they shot it in canada yeah oh i just don't know where it's supposed to be it was supposed Montreal. to be a movie <laughs> yeah it's um, cheap to film though <laughs> but uh yeah that's mine i don't know uh, what's yours man fuck <laughs> Dude, there's so many. I, I, my really pick hard. will be different every day. Yeah, I was about to say it really depends on my mood because there's so many different soundtracks and and there's different like styles. It, genres. And also, what mood are you in? Are you in like an '80s mood? Are you in a '90s mood? Well, You're like it, in yeah, a '70s mood. Well, even that, it's like, are you wanting more of like a soundtrack? Like, let's go like Maximum Overdrive soundtrack where it's ACDC, or are you looking for more oh, environmental? Like I'm just saying, like, I'm just like, <laughs> giving an example of like, or yeah, do you yeah, want yeah. more environmental like Maniac, which it's like it's trying to point like point you to a mood not like oh it's it's a fun soundtrack i don't know what's something that's like really ter- what's oh, fuck i'm gonna go with lost boys that, uh, that's a great one just because oh, it's like one. yeah you know it's like a classic yeah uh you uh, can't I go wrong that, the um cry little sister yeah i like Amazing. the um ding, 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 like the 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 uh calliope You're right i oh. forgot what the name of it is yeah but yeah yeah yeah, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. so i'm gonna go with that one that's, that, a good one. that's yeah. I mean, that's not really my pick, but I can't think of the other. Half of my <laughs> I mean, it's it's a good. pick I'll text you the real one like later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you think of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you, Jason? Uh, I'm not a big soundtrack guy, but I'm I'm gonna go one that no one's well, not people, but Puppet Master. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually my one. ringtone, the actual theme song. But that's a great people <laughs> people shit on Full Moon Productions because they they and rightfully so because they they really put out some really shitty movies sometimes. But I love them. but they I I love them too, you know. Yeah. But uh, but. If you listen to Charlie Band, Charlie Band can compose music, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, when he goes through and, and actually, you listen. To, I'm literally no one watches Puppet Master for the soundtrack, but if you do and listen to it, it's actually done really well uh-huh. yeah. and all that stuff. And it's a fun one. And so yeah, I'm just and once again, I'm, I'm kind of like you know Wolf Tommy. I'll probably change in about ten minutes, but mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. But I, I like that. It's actually my ringtone, and and uh, it's yeah. a solid choice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who's the who's the composer who does like uh, Saw? Is it like Charlie Clouser or something? I forget his name. 
you know, I don't know. I've actually, I mean, I think I told you guys, but I've never seen a Saw movie. Yeah, you did. Oh, we're gonna have to change that real quick. I just, I mean, I, and I love Shawnee Smith. We're, we're dude, she's out of her mind. Yeah. Been, remember, I love Shawnee Smith. Dude, at Mad, at Mad, okay, at Mad Monster. <laughs> oh, she's fun. really crazy, you know. <laughs> she had, she showed up day one. Her hair was long. Yeah. And it wasn't a wig. And then day two, when she came back, she it had, lopped it off. She cut all hair off. Woo. Really? Oh, she went so to the short. So she's. I love that she's shit, fucked. though. <laughs> she, 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 she's I'm insane. like, I love her. That's yeah, dangerous. She, she's, you, uh, she's, a, she's a dangerous Did you guys woman. ever watch uh, Scream Queens with Sean? Hell Smith? yeah. I love it. That was like Only Dracula. That was Dracula for the Have you seen that show? 20s. I've seen it, yeah. Early, like, jump out the window. <laughs> yeah, early 2000s Dracula, in my opinion. Right. That it was, was like Dracula, but like it was also um like, uh, uh it was like Dracula meets um uh fuck what's the joe rogan show we talked about last episode you fear know what factor. fear factor no, yeah. you know what it kind of reminded me of it kind of reminded me of flavor of love mixed with very very with, that too. with uh, was it fear an factor. mtv production it was it, it was yeah. mtv <laughs> that explains it was, it, right? it was mtv because i remember they said that um the next girl or no t- it was twisted pictures because was it? Okay. it was twisted pictures because they said the um the girls both seasons the girls whoever won they got uh a uh, spotlight in the new Saw movie. Oh, really? Did they? Yeah, well, yeah. That girl... Yeah, because the girl in one of the traps, the one, the the um, girl who chops off her arm, right? Mm-hmm. she was on, that, se- she oh, was on really? that season. So she won that in the first season. And then the second girl, I don't know if they actually ever... Well, one her. of the girls was in Piranha's Double D, right. or whatever. One I of those think, girls was. In I that. think. I think that was the Great season movie. two, mm. season two yeah. winner. <laughs> yeah, season two winner. Because, Quality. Yeah. <laughs> Quality. That show. At least you know so what you're good. getting into with Piranha Double D, right? You just, yeah. There's no yep. doubt that what I'm jumping yeah. into, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I just. I. Yeah, that's a great show. They had it yeah. on YouTube for free uh, last month, and I watched both seasons like within a day. Both yeah. of them up. That's a great show. That you, was it. That was, was funny for Saul. Let me just throw that. The first one you'd actually, I, I just knowing you for yeah. a year now, you'd actually like it. Yeah, but I do like Carrie. Don't Lewis. go past number one. No, you, really. Oh, I just I, that hurts me. I no, love. I'm, I love I, well, I'm saying for Wolf Tummy. Here, yeah, right? yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, yeah, that's I, true. I can see because the first one was. I mean, you probably know exactly what happens, but yeah. it's done well, right? And and you like people suffering, and I do, uh, yeah, I do take pleasure that's, in that. Yeah, so you would you would you would dig it, but that's a, the rest of them. I don't. Know. I mean, that's I always say, give me five minutes of just all the traps, and I'm good. I kind of feel like any yeah. movie that gets past, like, gets into that territory where they're. It's one thing if you have like Halloween, all the all the the franchise and the movies are stretched out over like forty years. Mm-hmm. But when you have like a franchise of like twelve movies, that's only over like ten years. Yeah, or, like, yeah. I'm always uncomfortable because <laughs> yeah, it's right. like you guys are cranking out. You are pushing this one point two, <laughs> one. You know what I mean? Movies yeah, 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 per yeah. year. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like a factory. You're just yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. And it's like we are, I already get it. Like like look, we're gonna make uh like I want them to do two hundred percent profit on us every time. Right. They were, they already have mapped out how much they're gonna make. They were yep. they already know. It doesn't matter how good or bad those those type of like just well, we all grind out movies you know yeah, well, what we, we saw that, that there's a new one coming out right I, yeah there is a new, there's a new one coming oh, out oh i didn't with know that. the guy it's supposed to be, with with toby uh tobin bell yeah, yeah. Okay. he's supposed to be coming back again don't know i have a feeling that they're going to do the same thing that like halloween did and mm. is going to erase all the movies before like one or two if they erase spiral i'm cool with that <laughs> oh man <laughs> what if they do a thing? spiral uh, you told me it's bad. awful <laughs> what if they do a thing where they like reverse it and they're like we killed you with traps now we're gonna kill you with kindness oh, and then he like oh, he just goes man. around and pays off your student loans <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well i think they're like <laughs> he overwhelms you with, with joy without, yeah well without like going into, like, gas tank major what? uh <laughs> with major spoilers or anything i'm gonna try to like avoid them because you're gonna watch those movies i'm gonna make you <laughs> they're good uh that's you like know, 900 hours <laughs> it's a lot and it's worth it <laughs> you like love a, people suffering this I, should be your thing I you do, should be but i like to see it in person <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay okay i mean we, we might be able well to i like to, you know like let me that. clarify i like to see people of means suffering yes. like i don't want to see like people homeless suffering right, right, right. i want to see people that like well, then you'd like are this like season. middle class, you'd like but this... think they're higher because I like to look at well, down, look down like them this. and be like, no, and you're this not. is like white collar people getting killed. Yeah, I do they love did some that. fucked up shit. This is at the, every every one of them are like this. Yeah, yeah. They're all like white collar. Yeah, they're all white collar. Like or the... that's literally it. It's like either like fucked up doctors who like didn't do their job. Right. Then it's like white collar, like law, like dirty cops, dirty lawyers, I... people yeah. who like. Uh, there was one where it's like a contractor who like skipped paperwork and then like ended up killing hundreds of people because they like burnt down the complex or something it was weird yeah. so, but like it it these people really do deserve to die in well, my opinion so the only thing i really know kind of other than what you told me is right. that i did see the scene with the needles yeah yeah and yeah, i would do that, that shit 
That was rough. I would do uh. it because I just want to know what I want. I would. Ex- I want to uh. experience it. Wow. And if they were like, <laughs> would you go? I, you didn't even have to pay me. You mean like in real? Like yeah, like you real life. Really if the like, needles were sent, like oh, they were safe. Shit. Yeah, I would totally do that. Really? Like, Wait. Fuck yeah! I would jump in the, the a needle pit with real needles. Yeah, yeah, I would. If the needles Holy were safe, shit. like you they were, were fucking wild. If they were, if they were like, <laughs> like who if, am I? Who, who am I talking to? If right they now? were, if it was guaranteed that they are not like infected or anything. <laughs> Yeah, I would do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're staring at it. Really? They're like, jump, just to see. And I would be like, uh, I mean, I don't got, like, they'd be like, hey, we're going to do the simulation. Jump in there and find the key and you have 60 seconds. Yeah. Or whatever it is she has to do. Yeah. You know how but much pain like, you would be in? Not, yeah. Pain Did is like you love. see her? Pain is like compassion. <laughs> oh, my God. I would do it. Holy I would do shit, that. Dude. I would do that really? one. Yeah. Holy I would, totally well, would fucking used, do it. Um, it was funny because they re- they used real needles yeah. in, the, in that thing, but they just removed all the tips. And yeah. it, it's cool, but like. I barely, I, I, I almost didn't get the COVID vaccine because I'm that afraid of needles. <laughs> There's no way you're going to get me to go swim in a pit, like a pit of needles. I would fucking do that shit. Oh, no. Just the thought of it is like, oh, I'm my like, God. wow. Jesus. <laughs> Getting excited. Oh, oh my God. Well, on, that, on that note, I think we're going to wrap things up. Yeah. Um, we so if you stuck with us <laughs> through our depravity, yeah. we appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, we'll go ahead and close it out. We'll, we'll uh, go hit, hit him with the socials. Oh, do you want to do our, our late night fuck boys? Oh, quick? yeah. Or I forgot about that. Our fuck Friday boys? fuck boys. Yeah, Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. How Go can f- we forget? How can I forget that? <laughs> I don't uh, want to say anything. I'm yeah. just saying everyone. Oh, Go for gosh. it. <laughs> I was like, wait, we have one more thing. Um, okay, yeah, for my Fright Night Fuckboy, I'm going to go with, which was actually pretty on um, on topic with this. I'm going to go with Tobin Kai. Bell. No, okay. yeah, Tobin <laughs> Bell. Tobin Bell. Uh, he was actually very attractive when he was younger. I don't know if you knew that. Like but 900 I like, years ago? Yeah, for real. Um, no, I'm going to go with Kyle Gullner. He was in Scream 5. He's the, the guy from um, who was in the bar who gets his neck sliced like really quick by Ghostface at the very uh-huh. end. Yeah. He was the bully right. guy. He was also in Smile. Um, there was another one that he he's in a lot of horror films. I didn't realize yeah. how many horror films he's been. Oh, he was in the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. He was like, oh the shit, drag that's addict. right. Yeah, he was in it. Um, I don't Jason know. really likes that movie. I do. Do you really? He stands by it. Yeah. Do you really? I I'll, I'll that's he, he'll yeah. all die on mm-hmm. man. I know. I'm like one okay. of. I'm like one of. No, no one I else actually, like I'm one of one. Actually, yeah. I didn't mind it either. So I'm. I'm I, surprised. I did like one one aspect. I did not like. They 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 crossed the line. Like you know, because you know, Freddie. No, I'm way off topic here. But you know how uh, the other Nightmare on Elm Street. They don't. You know, Freddie kills kids, but he doesn't molest them. Yeah, and that, that was, was my only thing too. They crossed they the line. They crossed the line, and that kind of molester. That bummed yeah. me out. But yeah. I actually like everything else yeah. about that so no that i cool. i'm I, i'm very surprised because i have not found anybody else who shared the same opinions as yeah. me because i really enjoyed that movie i don't know why everybody gives that shit but that was a very grimy movie too yeah, i really yeah. liked it very and i used to watch like growing up uh bad news bears right i'm mean, once again mm-hmm. i'm old and like the, the, the kid that like, the real punk kid in bad news bears always had the motorcycle was always like fuck you everybody yeah yeah that's who uh, that's freddie right oh, that's, that's, that's freddie yeah, yeah. jackie yeah. earl, earl haley yeah. yeah wasn't he also in he literally looks exactly the same as he did Bad News Bears in the seventies that he does right now. He just yeah. gets just a little older, but I mean he's not changed. But he has that same look. I thought it was a great. I mean, and then here's one he's thing: a great actor. He, he, I thought the I thought the look was pretty cool. I don't know why everybody was shitting on that. look. No, I thought it was I good it was too. Really cool looking. And he's scary looking. I, my hats off. The dude's got he's got he's got balls. Because if you told me, hey, I need you to be Freddy Krueger yeah. and, and follow in the footsteps of Robert England, yeah, where you know everybody's automatically yeah. going to hate you, mm-hmm. right? Or they're going to love you because if you do, mm-hmm. if you do, hey, you're going to be next Jason or next Michael. Big deal. You wear a fucking mask. Yeah. I was just about to say that he had a lot. I mean, like you said, yeah, he had a lot of balls because it's easy to be a Leatherface, right? A Michael Myers, mm-hmm. a Jason, a Scream, because yeah. they all wear a mask. They have no personality, right? It's all about just how you portray the character in your own way. Freddie is the only like horror icon that is very hard because you have to physically replace that person. Yeah, the mannerism, the, car- the comedy, yes. the everything, the attitude. That so yeah, I agree. It was tough. That was that was yeah. a, that was a big step, and, and he, he yeah. got a lot of shit for it. But yeah, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I my hats he did. off to him. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah was- my my pick is going to be. Uh, I'll stick. I'll stay with the scream uh, theme. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. It'll yeah. be a uh, Nico. Tortorella. Nico, oh, I forgot about. He's in I Scream. Forgot. He's that little pussy four. in Scream Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, little, yeah, that would be my uh, uh my y- pick. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
I understand. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I understand why. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> so um, yeah, on that <laughs> note, all right. That note. Uh, uh, we so. will uh, wrap it up. Yeah. So thank you for listening. Uh, we will see you next episode. We can find us on social media. Please <laughs> yes. visit Terror Trader. Hey, yep. you're in the valley. Come in. It's a year round horse shop. Yes. Who doesn't love that? That's right. Come yep. on. Yep. Uh, and you can find me on Instagram at at the underscore wolf. I mean, that's my mm-hmm. thing, right? I yeah. Yeah. It that's is. My own thing. It is. Yeah. Formaldehyde and is. Yeah. And mine's just formaldehyde. Um, or on, on Twitter, all the socials. yeah, on all the socials, or from Aldehyde 666 on Twitter. So, yes. devil Dance. worshiper. Yep. <laughs> okay, thank you. Cats buttholes. Yeah, cats buttholes. Kissing yeah. the cat's anus. You guys think I'm kidding? When you look up, I gotta go look this shit up. I'm gonna thing. look it up, and we're gonna report. Back oh no, next I'm telling episode. everybody this now. Everybody comes into the store. I'm just like, you know what? You know what? That's, Angel, a, pretty cool, that's, a, that's a cool pentagram. So, uh, what does a cat's butthole taste like? Yep, like exactly. <laughs> Yeah, angel did, lust did and you cat's anus. Angel, yeah, did, oh, you talking yeah. about angel lust too? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what Franco did, fucks about, me up here. He he yeah. hits me with some did shit. Did I tell you, you know about angel lust? Did I tell you what that is? No. Oh boy, I'm oh. scared. Yeah, oh. we'll say that for maybe we'll episode save it for four. Next episode. <laughs> yeah, next episode. Please do. Yeah, yeah, yeah stay tuned. Wild. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for listening. Bye. Bye.